Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract, or you we're adding in these two examples, uh, rational expressions. Okay, these two expressions do not have a common denominator. So they are a little bit harder than the common denominator types. So the first thing I want to do is factor my denominators and see if we have any common factors between the two. Well, x minus 2 will not factor, but we can factor this 3x minus 6. I have a, got a common factor of 3, 3. So I'm going to factor out a 3, and I'm left with x minus 2. So now I can see I have a common factor between each of these denominators. This one is x minus 2. This one's 3x minus 2. So this x minus 2 is common. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to write my common denominator over here. So I know I have an x minus 2 as one of my factors. So I write it over here as my common denominator. Now, when I write that, it represents both of these. Okay, now the other common factor or the factor I have that's not common to both is 3. So I know I have to have that in my denominator. Now, what I'm going to do is take each expression and see which term is missing. So when I compare these two denominators, this one is missing a 3. So I need to multiply this by 3 on top and 3 on the bottom so I can then add my two expressions together. So when I multiply this one by 3, I'm actually not going to multiply it. I'm just going to keep it factored. But I am going to distribute this positive 3 into my numerator. So that becomes 6x minus 21. And then I'm going to add to it my second expression. Well, my second expression has the full denominator 3 and x minus 2. So I don't need to multiply this numerator by anything, so I'm just going to bring this over. So now I have a common denominator. I can now just add my like terms. So I can add 6x and 8x, so that becomes 14x. And I bring down my common denominator which is 3 times x minus 2. Now, at this point, I'm finished because there's nothing I can simplify. 14 is not divisible by 3, therefore I'm done. Okay, so let's look at one more example of factoring or adding two expressions that don't have a common denominator. So, I started the first one by factoring the denominator. So let's look. Can we factor the denominator? And the answer is no. We can't factor anything out. That means my common denominator is going to be x plus 2 and the binomial for x minus 1. It's going to be each one of these have to be represented in my common denominator. Now, what I need to do is look at my first term. So I'm going to ignore the second one. What do I need to multiply my first term by to get this common denominator? And I'm missing this 4x minus 1, so that means I need to multiply this first one by 4x minus 1 and a 4x minus 1. Now I know when I'm multiplying these together, I'm going to have to FOIL it out. So let's go ahead and FOIL. 4x times 3x, 12x squared. My outer is negative 8, my inner is negative 3, that makes negative 11x. And then negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So I just FOILed these out. Now let's go to the second term because I'm adding that. So let's look. What is my missing factor? Well, I have my 4x minus 1. I'm missing this x plus 2. So I need to multiply this expression by x plus 2 over x plus 2. So now I'm going to distribute this 2x in to this binomial. So that gives me 2x squared plus 4x. Now, here's my expression. I just now need to simplify it. So let's add our like terms. 12x squared plus 2x squared is 14x squared. Cross those out so I don't use them again. Then I have a negative 11x and a positive 4x. That's negative 7x cross those out, and I just bring down my constant of positive 2. I now bring down 
x plus 2 and 4x minus 1 as my common denominator. And boom, I'm done. There is my solution and I finished combining two rational expressions by adding, getting common denominators, and there's my simplified answer. I hope this video is helpful.